Coco's 2D, Sample Project Memory Game, Part 1. We have seen how to create and program Coco's 2D applications using Xcode. Next, we are going to see how to create a fully functional Coco's 2D application from scratch using Xcode. Here we are creating a simple memory game from scratch. We can see the project file corresponding to each chapter of the video inside the project chapter folder along with this tutorial. The resources for this project will be available in the resources folder of this tutorial. Let's begin by starting Xcode using the Xcode icon in the dock. We can also open Xcode from the Applications folder or after searching for it in the Spotlight. Let's start by creating a new project. To create a new project, open the File menu and go to the New submenu. From the list of submenus which appear, choose Project to create a new project. Since we are going to create a Coco's 2D game, let's choose the Coco's 2D template and press the Next button. In the next window, let's give the name for the project as Memory Game. Choose a location for saving the project in the next window which appears and press the Create button. Let's run the application and see what we have in our template. We can see that our template runs with the default Coco's 2D splash screen. The application screen has a label with Hello World as text once the application is up and running. Let's add a new Coco's 2D file to the project. For this, right-click the Project Navigator section and select the New File option. From the window which appears, select Coco's 2D template and press the Next button. In the next screen, choose the Base class for the class. We are going to create a subclass of CC Layer. So let's choose CC Layer here and press the Next button. In the dialog box which appears next, give a name for the class and press the Create button. Here we are going to name our class as Main Menu Scene. So the new class has been created and is currently open in the Xcode Editor window. Now we have to create and initialize scenes and layers for the new class. For this, let's copy the contents of the Hello World layer and use it in the new class. Let's start by copying the Hello World layer interface content, which declares the scene method to the main menu scene interface file. Similarly, we have to copy the contents of the Hello World layer implementation file to the implementation file of the main menu scene. We can do this one by one. First, let's copy the scene method from the Hello World layer implementation file and paste it in the main menu scene implementation file. We can see that there are errors appearing on the method we just pasted. This is because of the reference to the Hello World layer class, which is the class name of the one from which we have copied the code. So let's change this class name to the one we have just created, i.e. main menu scene. We can see that the error disappears. So using this method, we have created a layer object of the main menu scene class and added the resultant object to the screen. Now we have to copy the init and the deal lock methods from the hello world layer implementation file and paste it in the main menu scene implementation file. In this scene, we don't need a hello world label. So let's remove the code which adds the hello world label to the scene. Instead, let's add a background sprite to the scene. Next, we have to add the background image that we want to add as background of the main menu scene to the project. For this, we have to drag and drop the file to the Project Navigator or right-click the Project Navigator section of the project and choose the Add Files to Project option. A window will appear with a finder from where we can choose the file we need and click the Add button. We have to make sure that the copy items into Destinations Group folder and the target is selected before pressing the Add button. Once the image is added to the project, we have to give the image name as the source for the sprite object we have added to the scene. So we have our new scene ready. Next step is to load this new scene. For this, open the app delegate implementation file. Here, import the main menu scene.h file. Now go to the end of the application did finish launching method. Here we can see that the Hello World layer scene is given as the loading scene. Let's change it to the main menu scene, which we have just now created. Run the application. We can see that the main menu scene is loaded with the background image that we have added. Go to the main menu scene implementation file and create a play menu with a play menu item. Add this menu to the scene. 
Insert the image needed for the menu to the project and add that image as the image for the menu item. Now we have to implement the selector method which will be called when the play menu item is selected. Add the code to display something in the console inside this selector method. Run the application. We can see that the main menu scene is running with the play menu added to the scene. Touch the play menu and we can see that the log is getting displayed in the console. If we touch the play menu multiple times, then the log will also be displayed multiple times in the console. Now create a new Cocos 2D file named Play Game Scene, like how we created the Main Menu Scene class. Add a menu to this scene called the Home Menu. Now our new scene is ready. Open the Main Menu Scene implementation file. Here import the PlayGameScene.h file. Go to the selector which will be called when the Play Menu is selected. Inside this method, let's implement the code to load the Play Game Scene. This can be done using the replace scene method of CC Director. The parameter passed to this method is the scene object of the play game scene class. We can use CC transition fade class to add transition effect to this scene change. The transition with duration scene method can be used for this. After this, open the play game scene implementation file. Go to the selector which will be called when we press the home menu in the play game scene. Here, write the code to load the main menu scene with a transition effect. We have to import the PlayGameScene.h file in this class. Next, we can change the image for the home button. Add the name of the home image as the image source for the home menu item after adding it to the project resources. Also, change the position of the home button to the top left corner of the Play Game Scene. Run the application. We can see the main menu scene with the Play menu. Press the Play menu and we can see the Play Game scene getting loaded with the Home menu. Now press the Home menu and we can see that the main menu scene is getting loaded. So in this section, we have seen how to add menus and background images to the scene and how to perform scene transitions for our Coco's 2D memory game using Xcode.